What's going on, YouTube? Um, today I'm going to talk about the car that everybody's, you know, going on about, and what's coming out in Hidden Arsenal 7, Evil Swarm Ophion. Now, everybody is raging out about this card, and I don't know why. Now, don't get me wrong, it is a very, very good card, especially it gets the deck flowing for Evil Swarms. But it's not... <laughs> It's not invincible like everybody's making it come out to see it. Now, like, Elemental Dragons, that's a dick and a half. Like, that's gonna suck, that deck. But it's also gonna be fun trying to figure out ways how to beat Elemental Dragons. But Evil Swarm Ophion, like, everybody's going on about this card, and I just don't see it. Now, let's read the effect. Two level four Swarm Monsters to XYZ summon it, or XZs. While this card has an XYZ material, level five or higher monsters cannot be special summoned. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material monster from this card, add one Festation spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. So what does this stop, really? Well, it stops any Synchro Heavy decks, like Karakori, or, uh... It's pretty much like the only Sync Heavy deck that's playable right now, but any Sync Heavy deck, it could stop uh, Elemental Dragons, because they're all rank 7s. Uh, Chaos Drags. Uh, what else would it really stop? Anything, uh, I guess it stops fairies, dark worlds, it stops a lot of monsters. It doesn't stop, but dark worlds it would be a problem because you could take Graft of the Grave and then you could just get rid of Ophion anyways. And Machinas, yes. Gadgets, it, like, it can stop some things, but there are responses, like, uh, playing Light Sworn, you got Raiko. People at least play two Raikos. And if you're playing Chaos, you might have Night Assailant. As a second, as another target for tour guide, along with your Rikos, if you're playing Chaos Drags. So there's a bunch of outs. Um, and then decks play a lot of like destruction. Yes, Evil Swarm, Ophion might have attack, but people play Solemns. People play Bottomless. Okay, that can get rid of it. And they're like, well, you don't have that. You can s draw a Compulse after they are summoned, set it next turn, Compulse their Ophion. Um,. Neospacing Grand Mall response? It's it's not that hard to get rid of Ophion. And even, and I've played a bunch of duels on DevPro and Dueling Network, and like they're just not that hard to beat. The deck's good, don't get me wrong, the deck's really good. But it isn't amazing. Like man, everybody is not gonna It is an amazing deck, but it's not unbeatable. Like it's not like a deck like where you go when you go against Mermails or Elemental Dragons, you're just like, man, this is this is some shit. Like, this. It's not like that. It's more like it's a problem. But just like Logia, as uh, your Yu Gi Oh! channel, I love that good channel, sta stated Logia is a problem. Dolka is a problem. But you can get around the problem. It's, it's just another problem card. But it's not like broken. It's just like something that is gets on the field. It's like, shit, I gotta be able to. I gotta find a way to take care of it. And uh, there's so many ways to t get rid of it. It's just. Even, like, if you return it back to the extra deck and you don't get rid of it, it's still it's still off the field. Like, Dark Hole, Smashing Ground. You got Fang, Soul Taker. For goodness gracious. You can uh, XYZ summon up with two level fours and get Jin on the field. Uh, May Stroke. And then you can just go and put him in defense position. And it's like, God. <laughs> I don't know. I just think all this hype around this deck is just unbelievable. Now, the hype all around Elemental Dragons... Yeah, I'm I'm all for that. The, there's ways to get rid of them, but it, it's 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 gonna be a real pain. <laughs> but uh, anyways, thanks for watching. This is how this is just my take on Evil Swarm Ophion, and uh, thank you for watching.